un po' di Merci, Monsieur le Président. Donc, je vais demander s'il est possible maintenant de présenter à l'écran les quatre photos dont j'ai parlé tout à l'heure, en commençant peut-être par la photo E190.1.143. Voilà, madame. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous reconnaissez quelqu'un sur cette photo Voilà, donc, a priori, il participe à ce qu'on appelle un banquet. Et a priori, ils ont plutôt l'air bien portants et en bonne santé, notamment ce qui concerne M. Yang Sari. Alors, je ne sais pas si on peut revoir la photo à nouveau à l'écran. Mais, sauf erreur de ma part, M. Yang Sari était le second en partant de la gauche. Voilà. Donc, euh, M. Yang Sari est-il est bien le second en partant de la gauche Et votre mari était-il au milieu Alors, on va passer à une autre photo qui est la photo E190.1.178. Voilà, donc euh, s'il est possible de conserver la photo à l'écran, et pouvez-vous me dire, madame, si vous reconnaissez certaines personnes sur cette photo Look, 
lain-lain ada. Alors, il semble que effectivement Nunchia se trouve complètement sur la droite et euh, au milieu se trouve effectivement votre mari assis sur un canapé ou sur un fauteuil. Voilà, donc une autre photo, la photo E190.1.82. Voilà, même question. Est-ce que vous reconnaissez certaines personnes sur cette photo Voilà, donc effectivement, c'est ce qui correspond à la description de la photo. Et euh, une dernière photo qui est la photo E190.1.122. Voilà, qui reconnaissez-vous cette photo Donc, que s'en pan, pan est complètement sur la gauche et Yang Sari était au milieu. Voilà, donc madame, euh, vous nous avez dit tout à l'heure que votre mari ne vous avait pas indiqué qu'il avait participé à des banquets ou qu'il avait eu l'occasion de faire des bons repas. Vous maintenez ce que vous avez dit tout à l'heure alors je voudrais maintenant qu'on en vienne un petit peu à, à l'ambiance qui euh, existait à K1 et K3. Je parle de l'ambiance de travail et les relations qui pouvaient exister entre Kyu Sampan, M. Nunchea, Pol Pot ou Yang Sari, ou d'autres personnes qui étaient à K1 et K3. Est-ce que c'était une ambiance qui était plutôt euh, détendue Est-ce que euh, vous avez vu ces personnes euh, se mettre en colère, être en désaccord Ou euh, est-ce que votre mari a dit qu'il avait peur, qu'il avait des craintes Quelle était l'ambiance Alors, j'aimerais vous lire un extrait d'un livre écrit par votre mari. Il s'agit du document E3-18. Ce livre s'intitule « L'histoire récente du, Com du Cambodge et mes prises de position ». Il s'agit d'un extrait qui se trouve à l'ERN en français 00 59 54 36 à 37 et en anglais 00 10 37 54 à 55. Je suis désolé, je n'ai pas le RN en Khmer. Monsieur Kyusampan décrit les réunions du comité permanent auxquelles il a assisté. Et il est décrit comme étant comparable à des réunions de camarades ou à des réunions de famille. Il ajoute, et là je cite, il arrivait même très souvent 
que ces réunions glissent pendant de longs moments sur une plaisanterie. Alors, la première question, est-ce que quand M. Kyosampan rentrait de son travail, il vous racontait les plaisanteries qu'il avait pu entendre ខ្ញុំមិនចាំអស់ប៉ុន្តែមានពេលខ្លះដែរដូចជាពេលនិយាយទៅមានខ្លះគាត់និយាយពីរឿងអ្នកលក់អលឹកអ្នកធ្វើ
Alors parlons maintenant un petit peu de votre propre Alors, famille, madame. Vous nous avez dit que vous êtes originaire d'une région qui, au moment du Kampucha démocratique, s'appelait le secteur 103. Avez-vous été informé de l'existence de purges dans le secteur 103 Avez-vous été informé de l'arrestation de certains membres de votre famille Avez-vous été informé des mauvais traitements qui ont pu leur être infligés Et si oui, comment en avez-vous été informé ការនោះចំពោះនៅ <coughs> Quand était-ce Et comment l'avez-vous su Cái đó lên mà vinh hai bê lúc miên nè bong bộ ôn mà nẹ đẹp bong quạt thử chụp đá màu đá hơi quạt nư gà nóng quạt nư cò mùi hay quạt đần chấn hay quạt bắt đâm mật nhầm cơ thái này miên bong mật ai nâu kì kì chạc kì đầy kì chạc đó nư màu nư tạc màu nhìn thá bì na je vais donner lecture, madame, d'un extrait de l'ouvrage de votre mari, côte E3 bar 18, l'histoire récente du Cambodge et mes prises de position, ERN en français 0059 55 13, ERN en anglais 0010 37 93. Dans cet ouvrage, votre mari indique que c'est vous qui êtes venu tout en larmes lui faire le récit des atrocités qui avaient été commises à l'encontre de vos frères et d'autres parents de votre famille. Est-ce que c'est comme cela que cela s'est passé je pense qu'on a encore un problème de communication. Je n'ai pas eu la traduction de votre réponse. Mais je comprends que vous disiez oui. Est-ce que vous pouvez répéter votre réponse Et ceci, ça se passait, selon vous, avant la libération des membres de votre famille ou après Rien 
bong bồn khi ông hay rùm chỉ mui nâng ở bụng mặt đai khi ông bụng mặt đai khi ông có khi chập như tới đây Donc, vous avez appris que votre famille, des membres, votre, vos parents, des membres proches de votre famille ont été arrêtés et vous avez appris en même temps qu'ils avaient été libérés. Donc, vous nous dites que, que Sampan, selon vous, il est intervenu ou pas intervenu pour faire libérer les membres de votre famille នៅពេលនោះមិនមានប្តីខ្ញុំអន្តរាគមន៍ទេគឺខាងក្រសួងការបោះទេដែលគេទៅធ្វើការនៅសៀមរាបគេឃើញមានអ្នកដែលស្គ
pour être informé de ce qu'il se passait au Cambodge, des mauvais traitements éventuels subis par une partie de la population. C'est à vous qui n'avez que pour fonction de faire la cuisine qu'il fallait qu'il s'adresse pour avoir des informations. Il n'en recevait aucune par d'autres canaux. Il n'en recevait aucune des personnes qu'il avait à fréquenter tous les jours. Il s'appelait Pol Pot Nunchia. Il ne recevait aucun télégramme. Il ne recevait aucune information. Sauf les mots. ពេលនឹងខ្ញុំប្រាប់គាត់ពេលពេលនឹងខ្ញុំប្រាប់គាត់ហើយគាត់ក៏ដឹងរឿងមិនដឹងជាខាងអឺមិនដាញ់ <cười> Voilà, donc aux fins d'inscription au, au registre de l'audience, j'indique que nous avons au dossier un document qui est le procès-verbal d'audition de M. Meas Von, document E3-424, qui parle d'un rapport qui a été effectué à Kusampan par... Telegram. Nous avons euh, également un procès-verbal d'audition E3-420 d'un autre témoin que nous avons entendu qui s'appelle Promsu. Donc, euh, vous n'avez jamais entendu parler de Telegram adressé à M. Kusampan Bien. Avez-vous entendu parler de l'arrestation de personnes qui s'appelaient Chouchet Koitoun. Pang. Pang. Dun. Dun. Tiv Ol. Tiv Ol. Vous avez entendu parler d'arrestation quand vous étiez à K1 ou K3 Avez-vous entendu dire qu'il y avait des ennemis, des ennemis à l'intérieur ou à l'extérieur des rangs, des ennemis qui rongeaient de l'intérieur. Est-ce que vous avez entendu dire qu'il y avait des ennemis qu'il fallait purger ព្រងប្រយ័ត្នពួកកុំឲ្យបាយការមានខ្មាំងចង់បំផ្លាញយើងដូច្នេះយើងត្រូវព្រងប្រយ័ត្នឯខាងក្នុងខាងក្រៅ
ដំណាងសហព្រិយញ៉ាគេសរីណ័រពីជីវិតព្រះប្រធានសូមគោរពលោកប្រធានយូរអនាស់លោកលោកស្រីឆៅក្រមគុណមោរនិងគុណមោរ
One of these gentlemen was arrested in 1975. Were they people to whom your husband was close? And after 1975, how much did Q Sampon of C of both look Q Sampon, Ban Chuk, Bukatan, shortly before or shortly after the evacuation of Can you help us? Can you help us? According to your testimony or knowledge, when did Kyu Sampong last meet with Hu Nun and Hu As far as you were concerned, would you describe Hunim and Hu Yun as some of your husband's closest colleagues? Because of the history they shared together. ពួកគាត់បានជួលរួមក្នុងចលនាដូចជាប្រវត្តិសាស្ត្រជាមួយគ្នាតើលោកស្រីអាចនិយាយបានតេពីព្រោះជាក់ស្ដែងខ្ញ
có ăn gì ấy được ăn quan nó tha hết ấy bàn chân miền nam bình thường In all of the time since 1979, have you ever had one conversation with your husband where you've asked him, Husband, what was the reason that so many people died in democratic Cambodia? And was one of his replies something like this? People were accused and arrested because they were agents of the Vietnamese or the CIA or something like that. ឬក៏មានចំឡោយផាក់ផែនឹងតើគាត់ <coughs> ឆ្លោកផ្សារដែរតាំងខ្ញុំ <coughs> In 1981, your husband had an interview with a man called Stephen Hedder. The relevant E number is E3-203, and the entry I refer to is English DRN. 00424016 French 00434236237 Khmer 00385413314 And Mr. Hedder posed this question and I quote What I wanted to ask was at the time was about anyone who was accused of being either a CIA agent or UN agents. I want to ask if any of them were accused of being UN agents in order to kill them, in order to kill to true patriots. Did that happen among the upper echelon? Yes, this is the answer. Yes, there was a comrade in the West. He was an old man. He was accused by the UN agents. They were responsible for that. They accused him. However, they were not successful because we investigated the case in a timely manner. Do you know why, when your husband was speaking with Mr. Hedder in 1981, he made no mention of being aware of the arrests and disappearances of Khunim and Huyun? Our 
xua quạt bẩn ná quạt gì bẩn nừng đôi chân này à riêng rau tàng lai na đại mình đi bị phục theo mình men chuyện này thì hai thà bị hia để vô bài làm quan để mì te đâm bài rồi nay mình ghi dương nhom tự đăng cướp riêng tí nên nhom xong chuẩn bị đẹp trắng hay ai ca quạt gì chuẩn bị nẹn na nẹn na nâng nhom cò ắt ắt đăng nâng chuyện đẹp đại Has your husband ever mentioned to you a letter written to him from Hunim saying that he, Hunim, had been arrested on the 10th of April 1977 and that document is E3 that refers to it E3 slash 1550. So I repeat the question. Has your husband ever said anything to you about a letter addressed to him from Hunim complaining that he had been arrested on the 10th of April 1977? Why would Hunim, having been arrested, be writing a letter to your husband? Pour indiquer que nous n'avons pas eu la question en français, M. le Président. Monsieur your Honor, can I just say for everyone's benefit that yesterday the French interpreters came to me to say that I wasn't giving sufficient causes. So I anticipate the problem is mine, and I will now give better causes. To repeat the question, Madam Sosotia, can you help us at all on why Hunim, shortly after his arrest on the 10th of April 1977, would be writing to your husband to complain about his arrest. ສະຖາບັນກະຕົນຫຼາຍຕອບສົມເຈີ້ຍລູກເມດີວີ Vienn Mr. President, given the 
amount of contact that Madame Sosuchia accepts occurred between Hunim Huyun and Kyusompon prior to 1975, according to her evidence. This, in my respectful submission, does not call for speculation, and the evidential foundation has already been set. បាទសិក្សាចំតោះនឹងសំអាងហេតុនៃសេចក្តីចំតោះរបស់មេត្តាវីកាពីក្តីលោកខេសំភោនចំពោះសំណួរចំក្រោយដែលសួរឡើយដ
David Schultz. The document is E3 slash 201. There is an extract on English page 0041-9513. Khmer 0029-2808. French double zero six one two one six six. When your husband said these words, and I quote, we must wipe out the enemy in our capacity as masters of the situation. Following the lines of domestic policy, foreign policy and military policy of our revolutionary organization. Everything must be done neatly and thoroughly. We must not become absent-minded, careless, or forgetful because of past victories. On the contrary, we must further steel ourselves, remain alert, constantly maintain the spirit of revolutionary vigilance, and continue to fight and suppress all stripes of enemy at all times. Close quote. Did you listen to that broadcast by your husband? ចាខ្ញុំដូចជាមិនបានស្ដាប់ដែរពេលនោះដូចជាមិនបានស្ដាប់ទេ <coughs> Where did he go to make his broadcasts after the 17th of April 1975? Well, just so that we're clear, did he ever say to you that he was off to the offices of the Ministry of Propaganda, where there was a broadcast facility used by the former regime? This speech mentions revolutionary vigilance. You've used that phrase already in your evidence, haven't you? Revolutionary vigilance. During the period of Democratic Kampuchea from 1975 to 1979, and we know the dates, did you ever, on any conversation, have a single reference between you and Q Sompon when you were talking about revolutionary vigilance. គឺខ្ញុំនឹងប្តីខ្ញុំអឺទី 1 
nhưng mà dùng dùng riết đuổi chân này ai cao thì chết về nhẹ hơi mà giang khi ông chia sẻ tiệt bài bờ kết tam chia propeni bị mụn máu cò rương rau từng ó đây là hai thập đại dương miền đông cứ sấy cứ mình ai mình ai tự đăng cục bờ rương đây đi tạm nhầm loạp đăng cứ mình được sấy thầm đá cứ nơi ta thầm tẹt bãi cứ tẹt bãi ấy được chứ này nơi bìu tu bì chất sập ram ở bì chất sập ram chất sập bổn bổn bìu nút miên vị nay nông ca chân châu đa hờ rong bảy giặt rẽ xa ca sầm ngát đôi chân này ca thì chơi về nhẹ hay mình dám về là vui lắm là vui riêng riêng luôn và là quạt về là quạt này quạt chui mưa côn tới đôi chân này xong mà ăn chia sẻ cứ khi ông mình bàn thà thì chơi về nhẹ ấy ở bàn Right. So, forgive me to interrupt you, but that was a very long answer. But you did discuss it with him. Revolutionary vigilance. You've just said so, haven't you? Kaprong pajat pat di wat ku kyom mandai ni ye jamui kwa te kyom ku nai nong kalai nong kalai ku. Chia bị nấy rộng bóc cần lại Nên ca prong và giặt bạc được vọt prong và giặt Tăng Sẽ mà rợt đây xong phía rẻ Prong và giặt Thứ mấy Tiếng ơ Cứ ca prong và giặt nó cứ Chia rùm Cứ cứ hạ thạp Chia Cùng nứt đôi rùm Rộng bóc nơi không có lại Cứ kia tôi tập rộng và giặt nó chẳng mà Thank you. Thank you. So more con looks right. So more con. Are you changing your answers as your evidence goes along when you realize you've made a mistake? ตาลูกใส่ก็ตาลูกใส่เจ๊ขอตาลูกใส่ประตูจมเล่าอย่างเช่นแม่เต้อะไรนะตาสมโตกลายหน้าขอสมเมตตามาดองติด Nên nhóm cho lại khó, bố nhóm vì đôi chơi Cái lấy nà Nên nhóm cho lại khó, ai có trọng nà xong mấy ta Xong tốt Well, let's just break down what you've told the court this morning I asked you a very simple question You accepted that you had used the phrase revolutionary vigilance in your evidence. I then asked you if you had discussed this with you And you said we rarely talked about this task. I then asked you, but you did talk about it, didn't you? And your response was, oh no, we didn't talk about revolutionary vigilance. So you've changed your evidence within three minutes, haven't you? คือลูกบานซัวปีปัญหาจำเลยถ้าเมียนกาปรองประหยัดปฏิวัติขย่มอดเมียนถ้าขย่มมันเมียนอดในใจเต้คือกาปรองประหยัดปฏิวัติมัน
The document that Judge Laverne referred to being, I think, what you called the family book, which is to do with registering people, is E275.8. Do I have this right that this was a document that had to be completed when you and the other members of your family were moving house? Or was it for some other reason? Was the family book completed because you were moving house? Do I understand the procedure correctly that when a family is moving house, documents have to be handed over to a local registrar? Do I have it right that every person over the age of 18 has to provide documentary evidence to the registrar? Do I have it right? That when the person hands a document to the registrar, there has to be a witness in the room. ខ្ញុំដូចអត់បាទបាទសូមជ្រៀងលោកមេត្តាវីការពីក្តី <coughs> ពីព្រោះបើសិនជាតំណាងសហប្រជាជនអង្គដឹងអំពីនីតិវិធីនៃការធ្វើសម្បត្តិឬក៏លិខិតអឺសំបត់ឬក៏លិខិតអឺស្
that says it's the 6th of June 1974. This glaring contradiction can only be properly assessed and you enabled to establish the truth through questioning on this issue. បាទត្រីចំទោសនឹងសម្ងាយ <coughs> I think you partly answered it, but I'm going to ask it again. When you were present in front of the registrar in the registrar's office, do you remember somebody else being in the room as a witness to make sure that the procedure went properly? And I think to sign as a witness. ហើយតាមានសាក្សីនឹងក៏បានចោះហត្ថលេខានៅក្នុងលិខិតចោះបញ្ជីសនាមនឹងដែរទេកាត់ធ្វើនៅពេលនោះគឺអឺការនោះយ
Mr. President, forgive me. Can I just uh, ask, please, Mr. President, this? Um, as we all know, um, His Honour Judge Laverne's questioning took up a, 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 a large amount of this morning. Um, can I safely assume that I will be allowed that time um, that was taken up with that questioning? And, Mr. President, can I respectfully say that uh, I am not very far through my cross examination notes? ខ្ញុំទៅតែបញ្ចាំបានតិចតួចទេទៅលើអ្វីដែលខ្ញុំចង់សាក់សួរនៅសូមលោកប្រធានអនុញ្ញាតបន្ថែមមកផងបាទប